the focus update of ESC guidelines on device therapy in heart failure were developed with the special contribution of the Heart Failure Association and the European Heart Rhythm Association and were presented for the first time in Stockholm by Kenneth Dickstein, the chair of their task force. Patients with milder symptoms now may be eligible for the first time for a device and we have restricted our recommendations to the population we believe most likely to respond. The second would be with atrial fibrillation, this very large population uh, without formal recommendations previously now has very specific recommendations and I believe that's very, very important. And then I would suspect that since it's the first time that we have an assist device, a left ventricular assist device for seriously ill patients with severe heart failure, uh, I'm very pleased that we finally made a formal recommendation in that field.